here is my uh, grow room update for uh, February 27th. It is Monday. Um, ranunculus seeds. I see nothing. Besides wonderful algae. This is the yarrow. Which is looking pretty stinking cute. Alright, this we'll have to check. These are the sweet pea seeds that I started last week. Um, so, I had the longer one wet and inside the foil for almost a week and nothing. And these ones I started just a few days ago. So we're going to see, I put them both on the heat mat, what they look like. Um, I need to get up potting um, tomatoes, but um, I am having issues with the freaking soil. So anyway, all these guys are already getting their second set of leaves in. Like, I got to get them separated. Um, I'm going to put them into the mediums and then put them into a tray like this. And then hopefully set that on um, another tray that can hold um, water. Um, or maybe just more of these metal pans. I don't know. But anyway, I got a freaking ton of tomatoes. This is going to take me forever. Started... Um, eggplants and I did check on them and I only had um, a couple like you can see green in there these are the long purple eggplant and these are the Thai purple which I see roots in there but no no green yet these are the um, Gandia ones. These ones are like a white striped purple one, which I see green in there. So I may have to check them closer. Um, and then Tabasco peppers. Oh, I see some green in there. I love Tabasco peppers. Um, the plant. I don't like hot stuff, but the plant is beautiful. Uh, anyway, the rest of these are all the other pepper varieties that I started, which I just got them on the heat mat. So Cayenne Long, Sweet banana, um, these are the poblanos I harvested from my pepper plants. These are a cayenne blend, which you can see different colored seeds in there. These ones were Eden Brother poblanos, and I think that's it. Yeah, so um, just started. We had a tray casualty. These were the tomatoes that um, I only had a few seeds of, of each of the few varieties. And I was going to just keep like three or four of each one and then sell the others, but they're all mixed up now. So I'm keeping the whole dang tray so that I can get the tomatoes off of it. All right, Lizzie babies are finally starting to get big, some of them. I think I am going to go ahead and up pot these to the next size um, just to give them some more uh, soil to work with. But anyway, you can at least see the little stinkers. Uh, these are the dahlias, which I'm not sure why I'm getting some weird coloration in some of these guys. Uh, so, but anyway, these ones are going to be all ones that I keep for the flower garden, and then I'm going to start some unwinds for sale. These are the celery babies. Look at that. Oh, I love them. Okay, and then I am working on up potting. Um, pansy mixes. I'm getting ready to up pot marigolds. I need to up pot bee balm and ageratum and status. I just finished another tray of pansies which I stuck here. And Oh my goodness, I love these jewels of Opar. They're getting so big. 
Sweet Annie. These are Johnny Jump Ups. Ranunculus. I did water everybody this morning. So um, these are the three trays of ranunculus. I'm still waiting for um, sprouts to come up. The coleus babies are already putting on a big show. The petunias, which I have two trays there. I have this whole tray here. Um, these are the all, all the ranunculus I need to get planted. Two more ranunculus there, and one more tray of petunias. And then the fever few, which I need to get transplanted. It's mad. Um, but my mom and dad got me shelves over the weekend. And so the petunias and the pansies, I think, are all going to go out there um, and just let them, um, you know, just hang in the garage until they get bigger. Um, we did have mix-ups of my Johnny Jump Ups and the pansies, which they're still in the pansy family. So I'm just going to label Johnny Jump Up pansy mixes and so that people know for the first year, like I had growing pains. I, I did not have enough space. And now that I have those two shelves up in the garage and maybe even before the end of the year, we can get um, a couple more that makes seed starting so much easier. So um, that's the cotton and I'm getting ready to up pot those guys. So yeah, that's it. House is a mess. We did get the new stove and microwave, so that's pretty cool. Gotta get the other microwave out. Oh, so much to do, but I'm battling this soil, so it is making me heck of angry. The geraniums need to go in this size, but this is so big, which I guess I'm kind of okay if it uses the rest of this crappy soil up. Um, but um, the other soil should be getting here in the next couple days. So anyway, that's where we're at. We are in the final stretches of... February, um, I have lots of empty space, so I need to get busy um, starting a lot more seeds now for um, the nursery, because most everything I started is going into the greenhouse. Lazy beast. Dad snuck her sister out to go pick up her human sister from work. She didn't even hear it. Lazy bums. All right, let me get back to work. Um, we'll see uh, how much more I can get done. I'll catch you up in a little while. Okay, so March 1st, it's the first, I up-potted the bush beef steaks. We have 120, what did I say, 122? 122 of them. 
and then because I don't want them mixing with any other tomatoes, I put marigolds. So these are the Kilimanjaro whites, right? Because <laughs> the, the oldest said smart because I already had a casualty. This tray is thinner than the others and look, they I went to pick it up one-handed and it buckled and this was the one that I had just a few of each type in here and they're all mixed together. It's, it's, it's done for. So now I'm gonna have to grow the whole freaking tray so I can save seeds for the ones that I wanted. So don't want that happen again. So everybody gets their own tray and that's just the way it's gonna be. So Tabasco peppers, look at them. And long purple eggplant and black beauty eggplant. And what are these guys? The weird eggplant. That's kind of a bicolored one. Stinking cute. And we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, 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 three. 24 varieties that I still need to do that too. I don't have room. These are the guys I need to tackle next. They need to go in their next sale, cells. <sighs> yeah. All right. Well, that's that's where we be. Marigolds. Uh, he does not look like he survived transplant. Oh, he's looking rough. He doesn't look like he survived to transplant. Dang. But the others look pretty good. All right, so I gotta give everybody a spritz. And then, um, I don't know if I need these big ones anytime soon, so I think I'll crunch them back down. And it gives me back a tray. I need to get the Lizzie's taken care of. <laughs> So sad. She's she's having a caffeine um, over Dose. overdose. Yeah, she she had a cup of coffee and a tea, and now she's paying for it. All right, and then oh oh, I got my new soil in Coco Loco. Um, it smells pretty good. This is Coco Core mixed with lots of good stuff. Um, we're mixing that with a little bit of this old stuff because this old stuff sucks. I hate it. Um, it's supposed to be for plugs and seedlings, but man, it just, it doesn't, I mean, look, it does not hold moisture at all. It sucks. So anyway, of course, I went and bought one small Walmart bag um, to mix with that stuff, um, and it did hold its shape a little bit better. Um, but then as soon as I did that, my three bags of this stuff showed up. So, anyway. And then I got two trays, uh, oil pans, so that we can do, because it's killing my back, bending over in here to make the soil blocks. So I thought I would try in a smaller one. And this will fit all sizes. So, uh, Lizzie blocks are next. Move these guys to the floor. And then we can maybe start another tray of tomatoes because I need to get them apart before the roots get super intertwined. Um, this guy, the, some of these guys may be really mad, but we'll see. Tomatoes are pretty resilient. Alrighty.